How you doing guys? It's been a couple of minutes. So this is the disc number 10 disc golf collection video. Now real quick, I'm going to go ahead and tell you these are all the discs I have. I lost one, but I ended up regaining one. I ended up getting a new one. So and this is my bag. Uh, my bag is made by Dynamic Disc. I am not sponsored. Wish I was, even though it feels like I am because I have the bag. So, we're going to go ahead and just start off with this piece. This was a graduation gift from an old buddy of mine. I have not used it. I've changed stuff on it, though, but I've not used it because I do not want to ruin the image. Um, it is a Claymore. It is a mid-range disc. Um, one of my, it was, a, it's, a uh, one of my favorites, because I love the art, it reminds me of Skyrim, of course. So, yeah, and then we're gonna go ahead and just get on to the OGs I own. So, I've been play I've had these ever since 2015, maybe? So, but yeah, these are my OG originals I, uh, I play with. So, yeah, let's go ahead and pull them out. I'm gonna go with mid ranges first. This is the faded... Rock mid range. This is my first. Ever, this is one of my first ever discs I have. Um, it flies good. I can't tell the numbers on. It. Okay, it's a four four zero three. So yeah, that's the rock. It's a mid range. Then my other mid range. Then my final mid range is a stingray with a four five negative three one number. It's a red copy. So, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and get on the drivers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show this off first. This is my first print, first copy, Scorpio, or Scorpius, Millennial Disc Golf Disc. It's an overstable distance driver, and it is a first run. So, yeah, first copy. Um, I'm not taking it out. I'm leaving it here. I'm leaving it put up. So basically with these, this one, since it's a first copy, this one, and then this one, which I'm going to go ahead and show it off. This is the XT Nova Putnam Approach. It's, not, uh, it's autographed by Paul McBeth, four-time World Disc Golf and Nova Disc Golf World Champion. Ooh, caught it. There you go. Um, it's very faint. Like the, there we go. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, it's by Nova. Which is awesome. I got it for got this for Christmas along with this one. So yeah, there's my there's my first run it's autograph disc. Now back to the OGs. Got my faded archangel. I've had for a couple I've had for a while. It's a red. Um I know there's a white one, but I don't have that one. Uh my Discraft Crush. It's a it's a driver, so but that's all I know out of it. And it's dirty as heck. Honestly should have gloves on, but what do I care? This is my Innova Blizzard Champion Vul Vulcan, my lightest disc of them all. It is a driver. It is it's a distance driver, so and it's very light. It is um, can't tell the, where the grams are. Well, the grams are faded off, so, but it's a light disc, my first light, it's my very, my only light disc. Then we have my one I usually throw with, uh, 2016 Fall Fling. It is one, it is 167 grams with the holographic image type thing going here. So. Yeah, there's those. Um, I'll go ahead and just grab this one because I rarely use it unless I need to, like over in Jones Park. But this is my dynamic disc Frida. It's an understable with a speed of 14, glide of 5, turn of negative 2, and fade of 3. Is like I said, it's an un 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 understable. Distance driver. We got a custom. I I did. I found a blank. I found a blank one, which is actually a Star Boss, I think. 
Yeah, Star Boss. With a speed of 13. Crap, hold on. Speed of 14, speed of 13, glide of 5, turn of negative 1, and it's fade of 6. And I kind of abstracted it a bit. But Sharpie. So yeah, I call it a custom because it's got my it's got number ten on there. We got a Millennium disc by sec another Millennium disc. This is not a first run, of course. But I like that one. That one. This one's special to me because it's a like I said, it's a first copy. But this one is a floating distance driver. The first run. So yeah, this is a first copy too. Um, Acrius. And it floats in water. So. And then we have a uh, Banshee, which has got a speed of 7, glide of 3, 0 turn, and then uh, fade of 3. So, yeah. Then we're going to go to Putters. Um, I don't know what this is, to be honest with you. I was just giving it, I was just uh, gave it. So, yeah, I don't know what this is, but it's a putter, so, if anybody can tell me what this disc is, let me know. Um, we got my warped dart with a speed of three, uh, glide of four, zero turn, and zero fade, uh, fade. and it's a pro. Our pro dart, which is by Innova. Then we got another disc, another one of my very first discs with a speed of two, glide of one, fade, uh, turn zero, and then fade of three. It's a rhino. So yeah. Um. Then we're gonna go ahead and just get with these. Give get go ahead and just go with these ones. This came with the uh, Acrius disc and the uh, my Vulcan. This is a marker along with this one. Except this one's been printed by uh, Flint Hills Technical College. So yeah. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the videos. Uh, I'm wanting. I'm kind of wanting to set these out to show you. But I'm going to be taking pic images of them later. So, like these three. So, yeah. Um, stay tuned for the next collection up collection video. This was just one of them. So, yeah. Um, shout out to Dynamic Disc. And, uh, because they have a shop out in Emporia that I like to go to to get discs. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate it. They, I appreciate them having a store here in Kansas. They, um, they have friendly staff up there. They host stuff like the Glass Blown Open. Uh, I guess a lot of golfing tours everywhere. So yeah, um, be sure to go check them out. I'll leave their address. I'll leave their website and link down below. So comment, kind of like, subscribe, follow me on my social media. It's been a short, sweet video. So peace.